In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, the first Sunday of the great Holy Lent. And it's basically today's gospel, the continuation of last week's gospel. Last week, with the pre-Sunday of the Holy Lent, we read the gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 1 to 18. And if you were here last week, the message was basically the foundation of this great journey of the great Lent. It starts with offering or giving and fasting and prayer. The church trying to set the foundation. You know what? You want to start with the journey of this great Lent? Make sure that Lent is all about offering. And you're going to hear, blessed are those who have mercy who give to the poor. Lent is about your per per prayer and also Lent about fasting. If you noticed, these three things, offering is your relationship with others. Prayer is your relationship with God. Fasting is your relationship with yourself. Then today, the gospel from Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to verse 30. What do you think the theme of today? What do you, continue, what do you think the theme? It starts, do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth, where the moth or the rust destroy it, but, but lay your treasure in heaven. What do you think the theme? Especially in the end of the liturgy, he said, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. The theme is very simple. The church want to tell us, you want to start this beautiful journey of the Great Lent? I want to direct your mind to heaven. 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 In my fact, uh, one of the beautiful tradition in the Greek Orthodox Church, when they start the, fast, the Great Lent, every family go out and buy a kite. And they all go on Monday morning, which is the first day of the Great Lent, the family hold the kite and let the kite fly to heaven. To remember that Lent is a time, a journey to heaven. Journey to heaven. And that's why today, the theme of today's liturgy is about heaven. It's about heaven. Number one, invest in heaven. All of us would like to invest. All of us, if you want to do a good investment, you find a good man that you really know how to invest your money, and you call them up, and you really search, you do a lot of research about you think so much about whatever you're going to invest in. Some people like to invest in real estate. Some people like to invest in the stock market. Whatever investment. But today, actually, the liturgy, the gospel telling us, you know, I wanted to think about heaven. And the first thing I wanted to invest in heaven. Invest in heaven. It's definitely you're going to be a winner. It's definitely going to get something. Most likely, if you put investment, you're up to the stock market or the market itself. You never know. But when you put your investment in heaven, you will never lose. And that's why today's gospel, the first uh, verse we say, do not lay for yourself treasure on earth, where moth and rust to destroy, where thieves break and steal, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. You know what? Whatever you're going to invest here on earth one day, remember, you're going to leave it. You own nothing. And you, will, you came to earth, you have nothing. And guess what? As, as Solomon said, after all what he had, he said, naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall live this life here. But therefore, the church want to direct our attention today. One thing, you started this beautiful journey of the Great Lent. Think about good investment. You must invest in heaven. You must invest in heaven. You must invest in heaven because heaven is the aim of all the Christians. Yeah, and all of us, when we have our loved one go to heaven, we always have a mixed feeling. We are very sad that we're going to miss them so much. But yet we are very happy that they are right now in a better place. Heaven is the aim of all the Christian people. We should be think about heaven every day in our life. And during this beautiful journey of the Great Lent, I tell you the theme of the Lent. It's about heaven. Thomas' father, Hapko, in the great book it's called Great Lent, it's called Jer Lent is a journey going through a dark tunnel. In the end of the tunnel, there is a light, which is the light of the resurrection of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Even St. Paul, when you're trying to read, there's a beautiful book actually about heaven by Ambe Yohannes. And when you read about the fathers, what they wrote about heaven, you're not going to find much. Actually, you always have two eyewitnesses went to heaven and saw heaven. One of them is St. Paul. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, when he said, 
He tried to give description about heaven. You know how when you go to like uh, Magic Kingdom, you're trying to give description to somebody about what you're going to see. St. Paul, God granted him to go to heaven. And he tried to give description about heaven. He said, you know what? I'm going to tell you. An eye has not seen. Something, can you imagine? Never seen before. I don't care what you saw. You have not seen this like this before. Nor an ear have, ha, have heard. Something you never heard about it. Nor have come, have entered into the heart of man, which the Lord prepared for those who love him. That's heaven. St. Paul to try to give a description of heaven. Even something beyond imagination. And when you go to Disney, you can see something. I think there is like I should call imagination. Imagination. No, beyond imagination. Something you never come enter into the heart of man. For heaven is our aim. Heaven is our theme. And that's why today's liturgy, the first thing the church want to tell you, you know what? Today's gospel teach us invest in heaven. Invest in heaven. Invest in heaven. Do not lay to yourself a treasure here on earth. Doesn't matter how much you have. Guess what? You will leave it. But make sure that lay treasure in heaven. Build in heaven. Definitely, it's a good, good, yeah, and a good, uh, good stock that when you, when you invest in it, definitely you're going to find the result when you go to heaven. You will find a lot of stuff in heaven. That's why Ma'an uh, Ibrahim uh, al when he used to give to the poor and needy, and they tell him, why you give everything? He said, you know what? I am building a beautiful mansion in heaven. I'm building a beautiful mansion in heaven. I'm giving them here, but when I leave this life here, I will go to heaven and I will find all of this ready for me. <clears throat> Lent is a beautiful, actually, time to help us to really to take our heart to heaven, to think about heaven. Because the main goal of Lent, Lent has one simple goal. Lent is a time to soften our heart toward God, which means to come back to him. And Lent is a time to soften our heart toward others. That's what Lent, to help us to invest our time. Father Callistus Ware said something very beautiful. He said, Lent is a time beyond time, which is a heavenly time. It's eternity time. That through it, you are not worried about anything. And I will encourage all of you today to start to actually think, build your investment in heaven. Give to the poor. That's why uh, there's a good actual advertisement every week when you come to church. If you want to invest, you're going to hear the, the, the deacon saying, blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast every day. I call it it's like a good advertisement. You want to invest? Invest in heaven. I, give you, I have a good proposal for you, by the way. <clears throat> I know that in the end of uh, Lent, all of you are going to go out shopping for clothes, I, I wish really all of us this year, they said, no, we're not going to buy anything. Whatever money, we're going to buy the clothes with it, or our shoes, or our suit. Let's take this money and give it to the poor and needy. And I'm sure each one of you, if you go to your closet, you will find so many things. And invest, that's a good investment. Take this money, teach, I hope and I can say that to my children. Take this money, give it to the poor and needy, and basically invest it in heaven. It's a good investment. It's a great investment. We need to invest in heaven. That's why the second message today is very simple. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Why you worry? And he said in today's gospel, don't worry about what you eat. That's what the gospel said today. Don't worry about what you drink. Don't even worry about what you put on. Don't worry about anything because your heavenly father knows what you need exactly and he will give it to you. If you invest in heaven, you're not worried about food. You're not worried about what you drink. Normally, and I like the three things. Normally, what you eat, what you drink, and what you put on, it's basically what really occupy our heart on our mind. If you find the youth, Friday, they want to go out to eat. They want to go out to Starbucks to drink. Or most likely, let's go out shopping. The three things. But don't worry about what you eat. Don't worry about what you drink. Don't worry about what you're going to wear. But worry about, uh, I like when he said, uh, is it life, is not life more than food? What do you think? Is life just about what you eat, what you drink, what you put on? Today, St. Matthew said, no, the life is more than that. The life is more than food. The life is more than what you put on. The life is more than drink. But uh, think about heaven and invest about heaven. I always encourage each one of you, really, this Lent here, Bought some investment in heaven. Yeah, and actually, I was surprised. Uh, Uncle Munir, the treasurer of our church, gave us like a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, about the 
the church expenses and how much you spend every, every month. And I was so happy when I heard something. He told us how much we spend on the poor and needy. If I tell you a number, you can, I, could, I was actually shocked when he told me that. You know, normally, yeah, and he, uh, he told us, can you think for a number? What do you think? He told us we spend about $30,000 a month and poor in need every month. I was shocked. But I was so happy. You know why? Because this is our mission here in the church, to invest in heaven. I remember God, rest his soul, Abu Nabshay Dimitri, always after a serve, he said, make sure we'll give the 10% to the poor and needy, or even more to the poor and needy. Even the income of the church, invest in heaven. It's the best investment. It's the best investment that you can really invest in your life. And don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about what you eat. Don't worry about what you drink. Don't worry about what you put on, because your heavenly Father will take care of it. So number one, invest in heaven. Two, don't worry. Number three, which is the last message, Set up your priorities. What's your priorities? That's why today in messages today, seek first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. What's your priorities? All of us who have a different priority in life, <clears throat> but we have to put heaven to become our first priorities. Heaven is a time to think, time to think about heaven. He said, seek first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. Think first God, seek first his kingdom. Our Lord asked me, how can I seek the kingdom of God? The first, actually, our Lord God, Savior Jesus Christ, after he was baptized, the Bible said he was lit into the wilderness and he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Then he started to preach. What do you think the first thing he preached about? You will find it in <clears throat> Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. Same message of John the Baptist, which is Matthew chapter 3, verse 2. He said, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Which means the kingdom of heaven is very close to me. I can reach the kingdom of heaven. I can get the kingdom of heaven. That's not, it's not far from me. But the one thing I need to invest some time. And invest some energy in the kingdom of God. And don't worry about anything. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. May God help all of us really. To invest some of our energy, some of our money, some of our time in heaven. And again, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about what you eat. Don't worry about what you drink. Don't worry about what you're going to go out and shopping. But invest your time in heaven. And I, I remind you with the proposal, I hope okay, that this year, okay, they say to yourself, I'm not going to go out shopping anything. I want to take this money that I'm going to spend, but I'm going to give it to the poor and needy. I'm sure if you call your family in Egypt, you will find so many people in need. So many people in need. So many people thirsty. We have a lot here in America. But we now have to think about the poor and needy. And Jesus said, I was hungry, give me food. I was thirsty, give me drink. I was naked, you give me clothes. I will end up with a beautiful quote about Trey really. Number three, set up your priorities. Heaven is our main goal in our priorities. One of the fathers said how to reach heaven. He said, Christ's first word, like what John the Baptist said, repent. Because repentance is necessary for us to enter into heaven. So you want to get into heaven? As Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And not next week. Next week you're going to hear the message about the tempt temptation week. But after that you're going to hear, you see different picture or different message of repentance. You're going to find the message. That's what Lent is all about. You're going to find the message about the prodigal son. The message of the Samaritan uh, woman. The message of the paralytic man, the message of the son, the man was born blind. It's all about repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. May God bless you and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.